I said one solution we could have is slowing down, slowing down. And I made it clear also to you that I do not blame, we do not blame ourselves if we're fast, because the world is fast. And sometimes if we, if we are not fast in the world, we will hurt ourselves maybe. And that, that's how the world is. The world is very fast. In fact, just a few decades before, we don't have internet. Huh? Now the world is at our fingertips. This one click, you search anything, and everything is there. Now you don't even have to have a laptop. You just have to have a, a phone, a BB, etc. There's the internet, there's the Facebook, there's the Google, there's everything there. <clears throat> the world is that fast. But sometimes, when the world is that fast, we flow with the world and we become fast ourselves. To the point that we forget the more essential things in life, the more important things in life. As young people, <clears throat> the Bible gives us something. If you have your Bibles, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. <clears throat> 1 Timothy chapter 4, <clears throat> verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says here, Let no one despise your youth. We, and included there, we are young people. Okay? Let no one despise your youth, but be an example. Be an example to the believers in word, in conduct. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Chapter 4, verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Difficult. Conduct, word, love, spirit, faith, and purity. Later on, we shall see where we're leading because we're leading to love. Um, why do we want to do things fast? Two things only, at least in so far as I reflected. First, we want to do things fast because we want to know more. We want to know more things. We want to search more things. And that's good. Okay? And the second reason I can see is that we want things done. That's also good. I want to accomplish things. I cannot live life just, <clears throat> just floating. I must accomplish something. And tell the truth, some of you, even though you're very young, have accomplished a lot of things. And congratulations to you. I don't know, maybe in business, maybe in whatever, in studies. We have done many things. But sometimes, these things are abused. For instance, um, because if we're going too fast, like for instance, I have BB also. And this BB is just what, one month old. I mean, because in the Philippines, the BB is expensive. But here, it's, it's relatively, but here it's relatively cheap. Okay. <clears throat> so Father Andre brought me a, bought me a BB here of the community. I may know how to use the BB, but I do not know the functions. Okay. He said, you, did you open your Facebook there? Is there a Facebook here? <laughs> do you know where Google is? Yes, in the laptop. No, there's also one there. I didn't know. Why? Because, because I'm going too fast. Sometimes when we're that fast, we have things, we accomplish things, but we did not process the events, the things happening. Driving, for instance. Who among you drives? Of course. Of course, almost all. Silly me. <laughs> you drive, right? Who among you studied really in a driving school? The rest learn by just by used to, okay? Because in the Philippines and some of some of us here, 
we learn driving not out of the school but because someone taught us trial and error. <laughs> Too bad it's error. Okay. <laughs> Usually just just you talk ourselves, right? And it's that's fine. That's fine. Just we learn how to drive. But in many instances, we know how to drive, but we don't know the function. We don't know what happens when the car breaks down. Easy. And all of these things. Oh. Oh, for instance, cooking. Cooking is not just about putting food together. Like gado gado. It's not just putting it, you have to taste it, you have to smell it, you have to feel the food. See? It, it distinguishes between the amateurs and the really passionate ones. The same is true with love. And that's what I want to share with you. Love and relationships, sometimes they are abused. Why? Just because we want things done? Just because I want to get things done? Just because I need it now. I need love. Oh, mommy needs love. <clears throat> you know, I have seen a lot of young people, a lot of young men and women who came to the point of no return. What does that mean? Who came to the point of no return. Meaning, they are in a relationship which they do not want. Why? The girl got pregnant. Why? Because this had to happen. I mean, something wrong happened. That's why I'm now with this, in this relationship, but I do not want it. See? Sometimes we just want things done. Sometimes it's too late. During the time of our grandparents, maybe things were more romantically serious. You? <laughs> It's not going too fast. <laughs> I, I still have the, I still saw some letters of my grandparents and God bless them, they're in heaven. And they really take time to make it poetic. See? They really make time to, to, to make it beautiful for the other. Why? Because they're not hurrying. They take time for love. Excuse me. They take time for relationships. I don't know now. With all the BBs and everything, do we propose to the BB? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> love yet. <laughs> I mean, even that sometimes, I don't say it's all the time, but sometimes even that is reduced to, to something which is which has to be done, but not really deep. That's why many relationships are breaking down. Because there are no memories, just texts. A text is easy to delete. And when you delete them, no more. But look at the, the letters of my grandparents. Even if it's yellow, they're still there. The memories are still there. That's why marriage in, in Catholicism is long. Very long. You have to undergo many, many things. If you're a Buddhist, you have to be converted first. You have to do catechism. Hango is undergoing his catechism. Yeah, How many months already? Three months. Three months. Quite some time. The priesthood, it takes ten years to make.